Welcome to our channel. Today, we have something special for all the Bible enthusiasts out there. Whether you're a Christian, someone who loves the rich stories and teachings of the Bible, or just curious to learn more, you're in the right place. We're diving into some fascinating and sometimes surprising biblical laws with a fun and engaging true or false quiz. Let's see how well you know the ancient rules and customs from both the Old and New Testaments. Grab your Bible, put on your thinking cap, and let's get started. Question 1. In the Old Testament, the Bible forbids eating any kind of pork. True or false? In the Old Testament, specifically in Leviticus 11 verse 7, it is stated that the Israelites should not eat pork because pigs do not chew cut, making them unclean. Question 2. In the Old Testament, the Israelites were commanded to stone adulterers. True or false? The answer is true. According to Leviticus 20 verse 10, if a man commits adultery with another man's wife, with the wife of his neighbor, both the adulterer and the adulteress are to be put to death. This law was part of the Mosaic law, which was given to the Israelites to maintain moral purity and social order. Question 3. The Israelites were forbidden from mixing different types of fabrics in their clothing. True or false? The answer is true. Leviticus 19 verse 19 says, Keep my decrees. Do not mate different kinds of animals. Do not plant your field with two kinds of seed. Do not wear clothing woven of two kinds of material. This law symbolized the importance of purity and separation in various aspects of life. Question 4. In the New Testament, Christians are required to observe the Jewish Sabbath from Friday evening to Saturday evening. True or false? The answer is false. Colossians 2 verse 16 to 17 states, Therefore do not let anyone judge you by what you eat or drink, or with regard to a religious festival, a new moon celebration, or a Sabbath day. These are shadow of the things that were to come. The reality, however, is found in Christ. The early Christians, under the New Covenant, were no longer bound by the ceremonial laws of the Old Testament. Question 5. The law in Deuteronomy requires parents to take their rebellious son to the elders of the city for punishment. True or false? The answer is true. Deuteronomy 21 verse 18 to 21 outlines that a stubborn and rebellious son should be brought to the city elders and, if found guilty, stoned to death by the men of the city. This harsh penalty underscored the seriousness of honoring one's parents and maintaining community order. Question 6. The New Testament forbids Christians from eating meat that has been sacrificed to idols. True or false? The answer is false. 1 Corinthians 8 verse 4 to 13 explains that while an idol is nothing and food sacrificed to idols is not inherently sinful, Christians should refrain from eating such meat if it causes another believer to stumble. This reflects the principle of loving consideration for the conscience of others. Question 7. According to Old Testament law, farmers were required to leave the edges of their fields unharvested. True or... The answer is true. Leviticus 19 verse 9 to 10 commands, When you reap the harvest of your land, do not reap to the very edges of your field or gather the gleanings of your harvest. Leave them for the poor and the foreigner residing among you. This law provided for the needy 
and reflected God's concern for people in all walks of life. Question A. The Old Testament law allowed a man to divorce his wife if she burned his food. True or false? The answer is false. While Deuteronomy 24 verse 1 to 4 allows a man to divorce his wife for reasons of indecency, burning food is not specified. The exact grounds for divorce were debated among Jewish teachers, but Jesus emphasized the sanctity and permanence of marriage. Matthew 19 verse 3 to 9. Question 9. Israelites were required to celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles for seven days each year. True or false? The answer is true. Leviticus 23, verse 33 to 43 commands the Israelites to celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles, or booths, for seven days to remember their wandering in the desert and to give thanks for the harvest. It was a time of joy and reflection on God's provision. Question 10. The New Testament allows Christians to consume alcohol in moderation. True or false? The answer is true. Ephesians 5 verse 18 advises, Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. While drunkenness is condemned, moderate consumption of alcohol is permitted, reflecting a balanced approach to personal freedom and responsibility. Question 11. According to Old Testament law, a person who unintentionally kills another must flee to a city of refuge. The answer is true. Numbers 35 verse 9 to 15 details the provision of cities of refuge where someone who killed another unintentionally could flee to avoid revenge from the deceased family. This law provided a fair trial and protection from blood vengeance. Question 12. In the Old Testament, the Israelites were commanded to tie 10% of their income to the temple. True or false? The answer is true. Leviticus 27 verse 30 states, A tithe of everything from the land, whether grain from the soil or fruit from the trees, belongs to the Lord, it is holy to the Lord. The tithe supported the Levitical priesthood and the temple's functions. Question 13. The New Testament explicitly commands Christians to continue the practice of animal sacrifices. True or false? The answer is false. Hebrews 10 verse 11 to 14 explains that Jesus' sacrifice on the cross was the final and perfect offering for sin, rendering the Old Testament animal sacrifices unnecessary. Christians are called to live as a living sacrifice. Romans 12 verse 1. Question 14. The law in Leviticus requires priests to wash their hands and feet before entering the tabernacle. True or false? The answer is true. Exodus 30 verse 17 to 21 instructs the priests to wash their hands and feet at the bronze basin before entering the tent of meeting or approaching the altar, ensuring ceremonial cleanliness and respect for God's holiness. Question 15. According to Old Testament law, tattoos are forbidden. True or false? The answer is true. Leviticus 19 verse 28 states, Do not cut your bodies for the dead or put tattoo marks on yourselves. I am the Lord. This law was intended to distinguish the Israelites from pagan practices and maintain their distinct identity in the God of Abraham. Question 16. The New Testament commands that women must cover their heads while praying or prophesying. True or false?
the answer is true. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 5 to 6 discusses that a woman dishonors her head if she prays or prophesies without covering her head. Reflecting cultural norms of modesty and propriety in worship during Paul's time and period. Question 17. In the Old Testament, the death penalty was prescribed for blasphemy. True or false? The answer is true. Leviticus 24 verse 16 states, Anyone who blasphemes the name of the Lord is to be put to death. The entire assembly must stone them. This severe punishment highlighted the seriousness of honoring God's name. Question 18. The New Testament teaches that all foods are clean and can be eaten. True or false? The answer is true. Mark 7 verse 18 to 19 records Jesus declaring all foods clean, stating, Nothing outside a person can defile them by going into them. Rather, it is what comes out of a person that defiles them. Jesus teaches that true defilement comes from within, not from what one eats, signifying a shift from ceremonial to inner moral purity. Through his sacrifice, Jesus fulfilled the Old Testament laws, establishing a new covenant based on grace and faith. The Holy Spirit now indwells believers, transforming their hearts and guiding them in righteousness. Question 19. According to Old Testament law, wearing a garment made of wool and linen was prohibited. True or false? The answer is true. Deuteronomy 22 verse 11 states, Do not wear clothes of wool and linen woven together. This law, like others, symbolized the importance of purity and separation in daily life. Question 20. The Old Testament required a year of rest for the land every ninth year. True or false? The answer is false. Leviticus 25 verse 4 commands, but in the seventh year, the land is to have a year of Sabbath rest, a Sabbath to the Lord. Do not sow your fields or prune your vineyards. This sabbatical year allowed the land to rest and rejuvenate, reflecting trust in God's provision. Question 21. The New Testament requires believers to observe Jewish dietary laws. True or false? The answer is false. Acts 15 verse 28 to 29 records the decision of the Jerusalem Council, which did not impose Jewish dietary laws on Gentile believers, but recommended abstaining from food sacrificed to idols, blood and meat of strangled animals. This decision emphasized unity and respect for diverse backgrounds. Question 22. According to Old Testament law, a slave who ran away from his master was to be returned. True or false? The answer is false. Deuteronomy 23 verse 15 to 16 states, If a slave has taken refuge with you, do not hand them over to their master. Let them live among you wherever they like and in whatever town they choose. Do not oppress them. This law protected runaway slaves from potential mistreatment. Question 23. In the Old Testament, the Israelites were commanded to abstain from eating blood. True or false? The answer is true. Leviticus 17 verse 10 to 12 commands, I will set my face against any Israelite or any foreigner residing among them who eats blood, and I will cut them off from the people. For the life of a creature is in the blood. This law underscored the sacredness of life and blood. Question 24. The New Testament abolishes all Old Testament laws. True or false? The answer is false. In Matthew 5 verse 17 to 18, Jesus says, 
Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. While some ceremonial laws were fulfilled in Christ, moral principles continue to guide Christian conduct. Question 25. According to Old Testament law, Israelites were forbidden from charging interest to their fellow Israelites. True or false? The answer is true. Exodus 22 verse 25 states, If you lend money to one of my people among you who is needy, do not treat it like a business deal, charge no interest. This law promoted compassion and fairness among the community. Question 26. The Old Testament law required that anyone who touched a dead body was unclean for seven days. True or false? The answer is true. Numbers 19 verse 11 states, Whoever touches a human corpse will be unclean for seven days. This law emphasized the importance of ceremonial purity and separation from death. Question 27. The New Testament mandates tithing for all believers. True or false? The answer is false. While the New Testament encourages generous giving, 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7, it does not mandate a specific percentage like the Old Testament tithe. Giving is to be done willingly and cheerfully, reflecting the believer's heart and circumstances. Question 28. In the Old Testament, the Israelites were required to celebrate the year of Jubilee every 50 years. True or false? The answer is true. Leviticus 25 verse 10 commands, Consecrate the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout the land to all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you. During the year of jubilee, debts were forgiven and land was returned to its original owners, reflecting God's provision and justice. Question 29. According to Old Testament law, a man could not marry his brother's widow. True or false? The answer is false. Deuteronomy 25 verse 5 to 6, the law of leverate marriage, actually required a man to marry his brother's widow if his brother died without a son. This law ensured the preservation of the family line and inheritance. Question 30. The New Testament states that believers are no longer under the law, but under grace. True or false? The answer is true. Romans 6 verse 14 states, For sin shall no longer be your master, because you are not under the law, but under grace. This reflects the shift from the old covenant based on the Mosaic law to the new covenant based on grace through faith in Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining us on this journey through some of the most intriguing and surprising laws in the Bible. We hope you enjoy testing your knowledge and learning more about the historical and spiritual context of these ancient scriptures. If you found this quiz interesting, don't forget to like, comment, and share your score. Subscribe to our channel for more fun and educational Bible content and daily Bible encouragement. Stay blessed and keep exploring the Word of God.